Hey, it's another day with May where I create healthy alternatives to your favorite foods. Today I am making polar bear paws from Seize Candy, but of course a healthy alternative for them. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. It helps me grow. All right, let's get started. All right, let's check out our ingredients. All right, first up we need to make the caramel sauce. So you need your two tablespoons of butter, your half a cup of almond butter, your maple syrup, about a third of a cup of that, and last but not least, your half a teaspoon of vanilla. It'll take about five minutes to do that, so let's go over and start cooking. Okay, first up you need to put your butter straight into the pot and let that melt for a little bit. And then you're gonna add your almond butter. Make sure you stir that up really nicely as well so the butter really combines into that almond butter. Now you're going to let that sit for a little bit and you're going to add in your maple syrup. Stir it around, and then you're gonna let that sit until it starts to bubble a little bit, like it is here. And then you'll notice it'll eventually start to thicken. When it gets to this point, make sure you stir it constantly so it doesn't burn at the bottom. Once it's nice and thick, then you're going to add in your vanilla extract and stir it up. All right, so we have our caramel. Now it's time to add our peanuts straight into the caramel sauce and just stir it up really nicely. All right, now it's time to form the polar bear paws. So you're just gonna grab a little glob of your peanut mixture, oops, <laughs> and then you're going to just spoon it onto your tray. You don't want them to be too big though, you just want them to be about not that big. All right, now that they're done, it's time to put them in the freezer until they're sort of hard, but not too hard. You still want them a little bit gooey, but you definitely want them to be more solid than they are now. And then we're gonna pour the chocolate on top. So let's go do that right now. It'll take about 10 minutes in the freezer. Okay, so while those are in the freezer, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my melted chocolate. So I'm just going to take my low carb white chocolate chips and then I'm going to add a little bit of oil, my avocado oil. So this will just help, help it melt. Cause I know sometimes with the healthy chocolates, they can kind of clump up when you melt them. So this will just help make it all smooth and nice and silky. All right, now I'm gonna take my spoon, stir it all up. Make sure you coat those chocolate chips in oil. And then I'm going to put it into the microwave for about 30 seconds, then I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and then put it in the microwave for another 10 seconds. Make sure you don't overcook this because it will clump up and it will not work. So let's go do that now. All right, so I've melted my white chocolate and now it's time to coat the polar bear claws. So I'm just going to take it and melt it over directly onto the tray that I refrigerated or froze them in. Just 
make sure you pour that all over. And now with another spoon, I'm just going to kind of scoop it off of the tray. And place it onto a separate sheet. So this will stop having bubbles like or little bits of, you know, white chocolate just kind of pooling down at the bottom of it. So it just looks a bit cleaner. All right now I'm going to finish all those. And there you have it, a healthy alternative to C's Candy's Polar Bear Paws. But let's give them a try first. Perfect. It's nutty, but then you have the nice silkiness of the white chocolate. This is definitely a treat that you have to try. All right, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And until next time, see you later.